morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dawn and I'm John and today we are at the Deerham 10 mile road race. walking around the school playing field so we can just get our legs moving because we've just driven over. Uh, John will tell you a little bit about the, the course that we're going to do today. Okay yeah this is a race I've done twice in the past, one ooh, over 20 years ago and one a few years ago. Um, it's a mildly undulating 10 mile route, uh, once again it's a county championship 10 mile race we find ourselves in. Um, a couple of weeks ago we're in Whittam in Essex, we ran that race, if you've not checked out that video um, please do so. Um, so today, yes, it's uh, slightly overcast, cool conditions. Um, we're treating this as a slightly faster training run, seeing we're in the area. We know some people involved with the local running club <clears throat> and it's a really well organised club race, the sort we enjoy. So we're going to do a little bit of warm up now and catch you in a minute. <laughs> So 10 miles is a distance we've both enjoyed over the years, isn't it, Dawn? Yes, it is. Yeah, it? we've um, put in some, I think, some reasonable performances. Um, we'll just put our PBs up on the screen now. Uh, more recently, we've used the distance as a means for me to, well, to be able to run longer distances up to 10 miles. Um, I'll just put some recent 10 mile performances of ours up on the screen now. The first couple, Dawn was running with me, so I was able to get back into increasing my distance. Uh, the last one we did, I say, at Whittam, was a, a controlled training run. Who knows what will happen today, it's really quite humid in the air, we both feel a little bit yeah. sluggish on our warm up, but yeah. we'll see how it goes, we're going to enjoy a nice run in the mid Norfolk countryside. See you in a bit. See you soon.
so here we are still in Durham. Um, it's about a couple of hours after we finished the 10 mile road race. Um, so Dawn, how do you think it went for us? Yeah, I think it went all right. Um, quite steady up to seven miles and then decided to have a little play and pushed on for the final three. The last mile was uh, pretty hard, but um, hard and enjoyable. Yeah, I think you got quite excited at a string of um, female <laughs> runners. Um, strung out in front of you and you picked them off one by one. Not really, you? I was just enjoying running down the road, slightly downhill into the finish. I think I think we stepped up the effort level a bit. I think we'll put the um, heart rates up on screen just so people can see how we did pick it up in those last few miles. It was very similar though, wasn't it, to Witten? It was. Uh, Witten, I think we kept a lid on it till about eight and a half then pushed on. Today yeah. we pushed on from about seven, mm -hmm. but I think the early miles were a bit slower as we eased into it. But um, stayed in threshold, it didn't, the heart rate was still in threshold for the whole, so although it went up in the last mile, the, mm. the, the average heart rate was still threshold pace. So oh, it's uh, Monday, day after the Deerham 10 mile road race and we're out on a, a post-work recovery run I um, thought it was an ideal opportunity to bring you up to date with this training block. Yeah, so we're three weeks in to our 10k training towards the Great Bristol 10k um, on the 25th of September. Uh, just to recap, Dawn's winning the race for England Athletics Masters female 55 team. Um, I'm also running the race in an attempt to get myself back into sub 40 10k sort of shape, having previously been a 33 minute 10k runner about a decade ago. So the past three weeks we've done um, a couple of weeks just under 50 miles and one week at um, just over 30 miles. In those three weeks we've done two 10 mile threshold training runs which were the Whitton 10 and the Durham 10 which we've just seen. We've done three park runs, two of them at tempo effort, one of them a bit easier. <laughs> we've done two of our explosive hill sprint sessions, if you've not checked out that video take a look, see what you think about it, let us know in the comments below. And we've done a set of strides on a morning run yeah. on the way home before going to work. So it's a lovely evening, we're doing about five miles aren't we as a recovery, yep. take it nice and slow, recovery is what it says on the tin, we want yep. to feel better at the end of it than when we started. So we're just going to run a few more miles up the trail and catch you in a minute. Um, so that's the first three weeks of our training block completed, what can we expect to see in the next three or four? Pretty much more of the same, using races as training runs, um, we're aiming to carry on doing a weekly park run as a tempo run, mixing it up a bit on some of these out and back on the trail runs, doing a little bit of pyramid running, strides, etc. As I say, the mileage has been nudging up towards 50. Uh, what are your thoughts on that, Dawn? Yeah, I think I, ideally I would like to get it up to about 60, but um, in the working week it's sometimes difficult. We're already getting out at 5.15 in the morning, so 50 at the minute, but towards when we get into specifics, I would like to yeah, get into yeah. the 60s. It's a balance between those very early starts, three or four days yeah. a week, as opposed to the extra rest and being able to nail the runs in the evening. Yeah. You know, you never stop learning, you never stop learning your own exactly. body, yeah. your, own de your own demands on it in terms of work, time, commuting especially for us. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're enjoying what we're doing, we're enjoying sharing our training journey with you. Yeah. So we hope you'll uh, join us for future videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd wish to. So until next time, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>